Y'all just come on in. Come on in. Like I said, I'm live on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Patreon, Instagram, YouTube. Wherever you watching that, I appreciate your support. All right? Am I going to talk about WAC 100? Yeah, let me add that to the list. I see he got his ass up in the air. I don't know what the hell that's about. But let's add that to the list. Who said that? I forget. Oh yeah, P and B killers. Do I got that on my list? Yes, I will be covering that too. That is on the list. Is there anything else y'all need me to cover? Because I got a lot on the list. Trust and believe. I got a lot. All right. But being that it's throwback throws Thursday, uh, Tory Lanez on the Breakfast Club. I can address Tory Lanez on the Breakfast Club right now. Boring <gasps> snooze fest. <sighs> Tory Lane's interview on the Breakfast Club was very boring to me. For one, Char Charlemagne wasn't there to get on his nerves, and he probably didn't go on purpose because he probably said, Y'all can't ask me nothing about Megan, and y'all can't ask me nothing about August. So, or they probably got a, a, a beef already. Or Tori said, yo, I'm not coming up there if Charlemagne's up there or whatever. But for some reason, it, it was intentional that I'm sure, allegedly, that possibly he wasn't there. So, I watched it maybe... 20 minutes into the interview, he trying to tell him, yo, I'm not trying to talk about it. Envy still shooting questions at him. I'm like, he told you he can't talk about it. Like, why are you talking around it, trying to get him to say something? Like, it was a waste of time, man. So, Tory Lane's interview on The Breakfast Club. If you're having trouble sleeping tonight, Turn on that. It's better than spa music. You will go to sleep very 99. Tori, okay, okay, Tori. Yeah, so, like I said, it is a snooze fest, you know. Academics, I think we talked about academics already. Didn't we talk about academics? I think I talked about academics. I add them to the list, man. I talked about, I just want to talk about them. Or academics. <laughs> we're gonna, that's what we're going to call them. Wackademics. Because that was very whack. Wackademics. Coming up next. On truth be told, all day, every day, even on a whack day. So, yeah. Now, that's it for Tory Lanez on the Breakfast Club. If you didn't see it, he, you already know he got a gag order by the judge not to talk about Megan or talk about the case. So he can't talk about that. He's definitely not talking about August I've seen because he has not been charged as of yet, but he don't want to say anything to incriminate himself. So he didn't say anything about that. Other than, excuse me, he's dropping a new album tomorrow. Shout out to Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez, give me an interview, man. I ain't going to ask you about Megan. I'm not going to ask you about August. I want to talk to you about promoting your album. Tory Lanez, can I get an interview? You can hit me up, choke no joke at Gmail. Have your people hit my people. You know what I'm saying? Or DM me on Instagram if you ain't too big. You know what I mean? You know. 
We know you're not in height, brother. But if your ego ain't too big, you know, you can DM me and let's do an interview. You want to promote your album. Lil Boosie, you want to promote your movie. I see you. I hear you want to promote your movie. I I don't got no bands for you, nigga. You already got a, you got enough bands. But you can come on, come promote your movie over here. Rick Ross, you the interview I want more than anybody. So anybody out there that know Rick Ross, Rose, Rose, the boss, you know what I'm saying? You know, I support a brother with a cow. Niggas don't, don't know nothing about niggas with cows. They over there fucking with bulls. Bullshit. <laughs> Yo, Rose, please, brother, grab me an interview. I'll pull up to your crib again. I did spend money with you and come to the car show. I even spent extra money for parking and couldn't even park, nigga. You owe me 50 bucks. But that's besides the point. <laughs> it's all up. I had a great time, man. I got me on Philly Tropical Treats. That that was outside of the car show. That was the best part of the car show for me. Philly, Philadelphia Tropical Treats. But um, Rose, Ty, hook it up, Ty. Ty Monroe, hook me up. Tell her homie, Rose, I'll come to the promised land, man. I come bring the camera over there. I do it over there, man. I I I, I like the vibe over there. You know what I'm saying? We can sit, we can sit right in the lawn and use the house as the backdrop. <laughs> show show niggas how much acres you got. They out here talking shit. You know what I'm saying? You you got more more pigeon shit on your lawn than the shit these niggas talking. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I would not want a motherfucker. Let me not curse. I would not <laughs> want to have to lawn the mow the the lawn mow his lawn. If he had to mow his lawn on the day in July, that nigga would be blacker than Michael Blackston <laughs> by the time he finished. You. Then you have you could be able to scrape the burnt off him with a butter knife. He would be so black by the time that's how big his lawn is. And I know because I walked it. Right? I invest I, I I spent money with the rose guy, right? You know. That's how you do. You support the hood. And I, you know, I filmed from there. I show people that's that's it's called it's called brand marketing. It's called promotion. It's called video marketing and promotion. He got that from me for free. You know what I'm saying? All my followers, subscribers got to see what it's like to be at Rose. So maybe I maybe, you know, and that day I wasn't gonna ask her for no interview because it was way too much going on. But Rose, if you if you ain't too big, and I ain't talking about in weight, you know what I'm saying? And you know, no pun intended. But uh hit a brother in the DM, man. Let me come over to the promised land and sit down, and do a real interview on some real nigga ish. Not these corny ass interviews you've been doing all these things. Let me. You know I'm going to ask the real questions, Rose. Please, brother. You know what I mean? Don't you know? You don't. You don't seem Hollywood to me. You know, they, I know niggas over here clowning you for having accounts. The they don't understand how much of a tax write-off it is for the boss. Okay, boss. So. You can promote your liquor. You know what I'm saying? I pop a bottle of belly. Go look at my video. Uh, come on, Rose. my nigga. You know what I mean? Come on. I like you the you the best A and R rapper. People don't even know. Yeah, you the best A and R rapper. 
and pick the best beats. I use some of your beats for songs I do over. Come on, Rose. Give me that sit down, bro. I, I know they ain't going to want it. I know they ain't going to want it. We know who they are, you know. But if 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 you if you're not going against any grains, grant me that interview. Like I said, brother, I pull up at the crib. I already know where it's at. I was there. I supported you, brother, and I supported the people that you brought there. I bought food. I bought drinks. I bought snacks, ices. You know what I mean. Rose, holla at me, man. Those are the people I want to interview right now. Rick Ross. Who else I want to interview? I would like to interview the Griselda dudes. Now I had I don't had I don't reach out to some some Buffalo cats that said they they. They got on the phone and yeah, those my nigga. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, that's not a choke. Yeah, that was about two months ago. I ain't heard from Benny, the butcher. He must be over here slicing some salami or some some ham somewhere in some deli up in, in Buffalo. I ain't heard from Conway. He might be down in Lower Manhattan selling some clothes. And Conway's in store. You know, I ain't heard from West Side Gun. You know what I'm saying? He might be somewhere cleaning pistols. But they told me they had me, man. So, Griselda, Rose, Boosie. I know Boosie trying to promote his movie. I ain't trying to, you know, I, I as Boosie be charging a hundred grand uh for an interview. So I think that uh my career should give me a pass. I'm like Oprah, nigga. Like, come on, Boosie. Um, come on, I, I don't play what. Lil Webby on Rap City. Ask Webby about me. All right? 